Well, it's been exactly one year since our last video talking about Hytale, and since then we've had not one, but two blog posts talking about the state of the game. When we last spoke about the game, they announced that they were working on a brand new engine moving away from Java and to C++. They were expanding the team, and no release date was in sight. This week will actually mark the five-year anniversary of the reveal trailer, and so today I want to talk about what is going on with Hytale. So to get you all up to speed, Hytale is a Minecraft-like game being developed by Hypixel Studios. Hypixel Studios were acquired by Riot Games in April 2020. The game's about to enter its ninth year of development, and as you can imagine, it's not gone entirely smoothly. So let's take a look at the latest news and see if they managed to get back on track in 2023. So the first blog post we got was in summer 2023, and for both of these, I'm going to be focusing strictly on development development updates. Each blog post usually features a little concept art of what they're cooking up, but I tend to gloss over this mainly because of the ever-changing nature of the game. With how much Hytale seems to change year over year, these concept artworks seem more like placeholders that have a high chance of becoming irrelevant years from now. So let's begin by having a look at what Noxie had to say. It's hard to understate just how much Hypixel Studios has grown. This project started life with a handful of people, breaking away from the Hypixel Minecraft server team to start building something new. When we announced Hytale and established Hypixel Studios back in 2018, the team had grown a lot, but there were still fewer than 40 of us. Now, there are more than 110 people working hard on Hytale every day. Now, that's actually a very important number because it's a very similar number to the amount of people that were working on Hytale back in summer of 2022 when they announced that they'd be moving the game's engine. Now, I don't know what the retention is like at Hypixel Studios, but changing the game's engine seven years into development is definitely a big shakeup for the team. And the fact that that number is so similar does imply that the majority, if not all team members, actually stuck around for such a big change. And that, to me, is a very hopeful thing because it implies that they're actually passionate with how the game is moving forward. Although that is like pure speculation. John Hendricks is another person we've been lucky to welcome to the team. John joined us in 2020 as design director, but soon took on the responsibilities of a creative director. Since then, his expertise managing game development at scale has been absolutely invaluable when it comes to keeping Hytale on track. There's been a whole lot more to building Hytale than we anticipated when we set out on this journey, and operating a production environment at the scale just isn't part of my skill set. John became game director for Hytale earlier this year. Funnily enough, in my last video talking about Hytale, when reflecting on the team's rapid expansion, I spoke about the importance of having a clear, strong director working on the game. With fresh people, is fresh perspectives, and you need to make sure that you have one person or at least a small handful, at the very top of the pyramid, funneling all of that creativity, but ultimately carving out one clear sense of direction. And with John now becoming game director, hopefully that is what's happened. So in this blog post, John said, Right now, two major work streams are coming together. The engine update we announced last year has been proceeding as planned, while our creative teams have been making great progress, prototyping experiences, and advancing our design thinking. It is rare to have the opportunity to upgrade your tech before you launch a game and we're not wasting it. I'm excited to say that we have recently hit a major milestone, our first external playtest. We ran participants through a series of exercises that ended with duels and team deathmatches. We tested an extensive number of systems for balance and flexibility, including player movement, abilities, weapons, armor, items, buffs, and magic. The next big step is to get another wave of features ready for internal playtesting as more systems come online. We've expanded the team significantly since our last update, which also takes time. Everyone we add to the team is a vital part of the mission. So the first blog post for 2023 seems very positive to me. So let's take a look at the second blog post, which came out about a week ago. In this one, John wrote, this year we've brought engine development fully in house and steadily expanded our team. The team has been ramping up to take full advantage of our shiny new engine's capabilities while beginning to integrate the latest breakthroughs from our world generation and encounter design teams. The needs of
of creators are always on our mind, so we've also been working to get tools and content creation workflows online in this new engine. Our rendering team is hard at work on replicating the look and feel of Hytale in the new engine, and we're looking forward to sharing a side-by-side -side with our old engine when we're ready. At the moment, however, our primary focus has been on performance and functionality, not beauty. We'll share some of these ugly duckling moments when we're out of this awkward, self-conscious phase. We're also looking forward to sharing content from the new engine once it properly reflects our vision for Hytale. Meanwhile, the team continues to use the legacy engine to prototype experiences and improve our development processes. Over the coming months, more and more of our team will move over to working in the new engine, bringing that expertise with them. As 2023 winds down, we're looking forward to 2024. As mentioned earlier, the first half of the year will be focused on getting the whole team onboarded into the new engine. We're also going to be significantly ramping up our external playtesting efforts, focusing on collecting feedback on adventure experiences, creator tools, and social and competitive play. These user tests and process advancements are important steps in getting us ready to enter full production. While I understand the desire for dates and roadmaps, the work we're currently doing is essential in order for us to make accurate projections in the future. I'm happy to report that we're closing off the year on track for our milestones in the new engine and excited to move forward. You can expect our updates to grow in frequency as we move into this next phase of high Hytale's development, particularly when we're in a position to once again show off in-engine gameplay. So after reading all that, I wanted to share some of my thoughts on Hytale as it stands at the end of 2023. Now, let it be known, I do not live and breathe Hytale. I obviously look forward to when it finally releases, but it's not something I think about every day. So I have a lot of patience for Hytale, and I still have a lot of patience. It's always been pretty clear to me that Hypixel Studios did not know what what Hytale was going to be back in 2018. Obviously, they thought they knew, but they didn't. And from that year onwards, every year seems to be about building the blocks required to actually make this game happen. From announcing the game, to seeking investment, to then expanding the team, also doing that technical review, deciding, hey, these foundations aren't right, we need to start again. Hiring an external company to develop the engine, bringing that engine in-house, and then finally getting ready to start real production of Hytale. I think at this point, it's best you just forget everything you know and you've seen about Hytale. Even this gameplay that you're seeing in the background is so old and irrelevant now and built in an engine that might not even look like the new engine that they've been developing. These past five years since the announcement seem to me not about developing Hytale but instead developing a team that can then develop Hytale. These past two blog posts to me are extremely positive because it finally looks like a team that has focus. Here they are, they're lining up all of these different pins, getting them all ready, and then, when the time is right, they can strike and hopefully knock them all down. Obviously, Hytale announced too early. You can hear that take from absolutely anyone on the internet. But I am still such a believer in this game. If they can deliver on those core concepts that drew me in back in 2018, a Minecraft-like game, with great tools for creators, a great online experience, then I'm happy. Yeah, we can all agree this game is taking a very long time to come out and it probably won't be out for a couple more years. But look, I haven't spent a penny on Hytale and I always find myself at this conclusion when talking about Hytale, it does not matter if the hype has died down and the community is dwindling, that community will spring back to life the second the game is ready. And I really believe that. I think if they continue at this pace, 2024 will be a very interesting year to watch Hytale, if not 2025. Once the whole team has migrated to that new engine, I feel like it's going to be a flurry of content as we see them experiment and implement and try and recreate the game that we knew in this new engine and show us all the things that have changed in that process. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But as I always say in these videos, keep stretching that budget, just keep going, all right? Spend every penny they let you. Just make a good game.